Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, we're gonna do a beer review today. This one is Modelo Especial. I guess it means special. Since 1925. Um, it says uh, Cerveza Modelo Mexico. Golden full flavored Pilsner style lager with a clean, crisp, fresh. Clean, it's clean, crisp, and fresh. Okay, brewed in Mexico. And um, I don't see a date on it or an ABV anywhere, so I don't know how old it is or what the alcohol content is, but I'm assuming it's probably around 5% alcohol by volume, I'm guessing. I wouldn't know because it's not on the can. Um, this is a um, uh, 24 ounce bomber can. I picked up at 7-Eleven for about three and a half bucks. And that's what it looks like. So apparently this beer has a cult following. From what I gather. This is um, what I hear. I don't know if it's true or not. This is one of the, the go-to's of the Latin community. And uh, I've had this before a long time ago. And I, I do recall it was decent, but it's been a long time since I had one, so I don't know if it's still the same or not. And uh, we're fitting to crack it open and see if uh, what's up. It's pretty uh, inexpensive, I must say. Like three and a half bucks for a big old bomber. Let's get a little aggressive on this here because it looked a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Calm down there, Nelly. Okay. Yeah. It's a product of Mexico, apparently. Um, I can't read it. My, I need my glasses. Hold up. Let me see if I can see what it says what city it's brewed in. It's definitely from Mexico. Brewed and canned by Cerveceria Modelo, Nava, Mexico. Okay. I don't know where Nava is, but there you go. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright, so we have a pretty big, foamy kind of frothy head that's dissipating and um, we have a crystal clear amber color maybe a light gold maybe yeah, it's like a light gold I guess not quite to the amber but crystal clear got some bubble streaming up from the bottom looks pretty good actually looks pretty damn tasty see the bubbles coming up Looks like it's got some pretty good carbonation there. Very clear. You definitely see the can through the beer, no problem. Very well filtered. Actually, pretty good looking beer for Pilsner Lager. Looks real nice, actually. Good looking gold looking color. A little, little darker than the American ones. Looks decent. Alright, well, let's get an aroma on this puppy.
Right up front, I'm getting like a sweetness, kind of like a barley and a corn sweetness. That's about what I'm getting. It smells nice. And it's got a real nice sweetness to it, like a malty kind of a barley corn type sweetness. It's pretty pleasant. Let's get into hit. Cheers. Got a neat looking can. Couple lines on there. Very fancy looking. Classy. It's a nice balance between like corn and, and barley malts. Taste follows the aroma. There's nothing off-putting about this beer. It's it's pretty balanced. Um, it's got a medium to light mouthfeel. This would be a good beer to session with on a hot day if you're actually like thirsty and you want to quench your thirst. This would definitely do the trick. It's tasty beer. There's nothing off-putting about it. Like I said, it's got a good head retention, leaving some good lacing on the glass there. There we go. I came alive now. Nice head retention. I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a kind of earthy, grassy kind of hop note in there as well. A little bitterness from the hops, but it's balanced out nicely with the uh, with the malts that it's got going on here. It definitely has a little bit of hops in it. They're kind of like an earthy, grassy kind of hop. But it definitely has some nice malts going on in there, as you can see. A little sweet corn, a little barley. It's not too shabby, actually. That's pretty good. It's got a pretty nice mouthfeel to it. It's real smooth hitting. You can pick this stuff up for like seven bucks out the door for six six pack. It's pretty inexpensive beer and it's pretty tasty actually. Um, this would be a good beer for a hot day. Or if you're going to be out for a while and you're going to be sessioning with them or you're hanging out with your buddies or something and you're going to be hitting the beers for a while and you don't want to drink a heavy IPA or something, this would be a nice option. Nice option from the Bud Miller Coors, you know. This is something a little different. It's probably a slight, slight bit... I'd say it's on par with Budweiser. It's a little different than Budweiser, but it's probably about the same, same quality. But I'd say it's better than Miller and Coors, for sure. Read <gasps> it. Cheers. Salute. Yeah, I could drink the crap out of this stuff. It's pretty tasty. Definitely nothing off-putting about it. It's got excellent head retention. Look at that. Really nice head, head retention. I find this beer uh, rather enjoyable. It's good, smooth, tasty. Creamy, it's got a nice creamy kind of silky mouthfeel to it. You could really hit it, really hit it hard too. Man, I would, you know what? If you can, if you can get this, pour it in a glass, man. It's good. It's good out of the glass. One more swill. Let's see if we can pick up anything else, and we'll wrap it up. Cheers. Salute.
yeah, it's a pretty good balance of uh, like corn and barley. And then it's got this kind of malty little sweetness, little uh, sweet maltiness coming through to balance it out and with the little hop note that it's got going, the little earthy grassy hop note. Pretty decent. We'll hit it one more time. We'll wrap it up. Cheers. Salute. This is one of the beers that makes you just want to slam it. It's got such a smooth mouthfeel to it. Just real nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to have to give this puppy three stars out of five. It's pretty damn tasty. Real smooth hitting. It's it's nice beer. I could drink the crap out of this stuff. All right, three stars out of five is my story, and I'm sticking with it. And uh, I'll have the description at the bottom of the video in the description section. If you haven't uh, sub to my channel, sub, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Like the video, and we'll catch y'all later. Adios.